Hola, como estas? Give me your booty. My bad, y'all. I let Jose out the cage for one second, and this man is just all over the place doing dumb junk. I'm sorry. But in all seriousness, I made a build last night that I plan on using, and I know a lot of y'all are going to end up spamming me when I post a video with the build. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock out the build video right now. So make sure you like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications. It would help me out a lot. And let's get right into the build. All right, so first things first, we're gonna make this build a shooting guard, right-handed, left-handed, doesn't matter. Pie chart, all right, the pie chart we're gonna use, all right? Listen closely, listen closely, because you're gonna get it mixed up. Someone's gonna get it mixed up and comment it down below, like, I didn't get the right build, I didn't get this and that, da, da, da. Listen, you're gonna choose the pie chart with a little bit more finishing and not the little bit more shooting, all right? There's two different ones. Choose the right one, because I do not want to see anybody in the comment section talking about, oh, this didn't get this, this didn't get... Listen, pick the right pie chart, all right? Physical profile pie chart, we're gonna go with the speed pie chart. All right, and now for attributes, all right? Listen, you're gonna have an 88 close shot, all right? Driving layup, you're gonna have a 91. Driving dunk, you're gonna have an 81, all right? Standing dunk, you're going to put that to a 51, so you're able to get those 16 finishing badges, all right? Come down to shooting. Mid-range shot, 81 mid-range shot, all right? Three-point shot, you're going to have a 79, all right? You're going to come down to free throw, you're going to put that to a 60. You'll see why in a second. Come down to post fade, and you're going to put that to an 87, all right? Now, later on, I'll show you why you put free throw at a 60 and post fade at an 87 instead of doing it vice versa, all right? Playmaking, you're going to have a 78 pass accuracy. You're going to have an 80 ball handling. And you're going to have a 58 post control. So you get those 16 playmaking badges, right? Defense, you're going to come down to perimeter defense. You're going to have a 76 perimeter defense. Lateral quickness, you're going to put that to 74. Steel, you're going to put that to a 70 down. Uh, 70 down. 79. And you're going to come down to defensive rebound and put that to a 63 all right you'll have five defensive badges now body shape define doesn't matter everybody blah 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 blah. pick one all right height you're gonna go six five all right like a majority of my builds majority of my builds are six five and six four because those two are really the best height if you're not like a play shot if you're not a play shot or something six four and six five mwah, chef's kiss you, you hear that mwah, best heights all right weight you're gonna come down to the lowest weight all right, and wingspan, you're going to go to 82. The reason you don't want to go to, you know what I'm saying, max wingspan, you can do this, all right? If you if this is your personal choice and you want to do this, that's cool because once you grind the build out, you know what I'm saying, you'll have an 80-plus ball handle. For the people that don't want to grind the build out, you know what I'm saying, come down to 82, you have an 80 ball handling off rip. You still get contact dunks because you're going to have slashing takeover, and if you grind the build out, you get contact dunks, all right? Now, when we get to the takeovers, you will have the choice of sharpshooting and slashing takeover, but I'll explain that when I get there. For now, we're going to look at the attributes, all right? Close shot, you have a 90 close shot. Driving layup, 91. Driving dunk, 82, like I said, with takeover and grinding the build out a little bit, you'll get contact dunks for days, all right? Mid-range shot, an 80. Three-point shot, a 78. With boost, you're 80 plus, all right? And if you, you're, you're chilling, all right? Simple as that. Ball handling, 80. Defense, decent. All right, 86 speed, 86 acceleration, and a 72 vertical. All, if you have gym rat, that's plus four, you know what I'm saying, you're chilling. Now, takeovers, you have four options. Do not pick shot creating, and do not pick playmaking. The two takeovers I would suggest is you, if you really want to, you can go a sharp take, but the one I would really pick, I would really recommend is slashing takeover. If you don't want to grind the, bad, the build out, you can pick slashing takeover. And go crazy and personally slash and takeover is just more fun yes i mean sharpshooting takeover helps win games more if you want to you know what i'm saying take the game seriously but if you want to have fun you know what i'm saying have fun on the game pick slash and takeover it's more fun i'm telling you and you don't have to grind the build out as much but it's just more fun in general so pick slashing takeover and you're gonna come up with the name slashing playmaker all right shades of tracy mcgrady caress lavert and zach levine all right i'm gonna go ahead and show you the badges Finishing badges, all right? You only need four finishing badges, and that's why I gave you 16. Now, posterizer, Hall of Fame, Slithery Finisher, Hall of Fame, Limitless, Takeoff, Hall of Fame, and Fearless 
finisher hall of fame these are the four main badges you need to score because paint defense is trash with these four badges in place you will be unstoppable in the paint i promise you i have these same four badges on every single one of my builds and i i finish every time in the paint i promise just like i'm finishing your mother now shooting badges um be completely honest i'm gonna go gold sniper gold stop and pop uh gold hot zone hunter um green machine i probably put that on bronze um dead eye put that on silver blinders silver gold silver gold i'd flip flop it put probably put a chef on like silver i probably flip flop gold between gold blinders and gold chef i probably flip this probably like i don't know it's, it's really up to you whether you want to have gold chef or gold blinders but these are the badges i would i would rock with this build now playmaking you only need certain badges when it comes to playmaking quick first step gold quick chain you know what i'm saying handles for days those three silver i mean not silver gold uh hyperdrive gold if you want to have unpluckable on put it on bronze because that badge never works um you can have bailout on maybe like bronze bronze or silver probably like bullet pass on like silver bronze or silver i really flip flop these two as well to be completely honest it's up to you though how you ever you want to put those last three badge points but the those four gold ones are probably your main four that you're gonna need now defensive badges go silver intimidator silver menace and then bronze interceptor and then that's the bill so make sure i like my subscribe if you need to turn post notifications and i'm up Takes me to the second channel. Links in the description. Go subscribe. Right now. Don't subscribe. please don't. He's it's the same thing as Aztec with 1k. Yeah, go subscribe. Link in the description, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be posting reactions. Gonna maybe... Ow, your mic is garbage. <laughs> hey, and you. Yeah, you watching the video. As takes me to the second channel. Links in the description. Go subscribe. Right now. Don't no, please don't. He's it's the same thing as Aztec with 1k. Yeah, go subscribe. Link in the description, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be posting reactions. Maybe, ow, your mic is garbage. <laughs>